Hey, there's no shame in trying things that people ain't never tried before. Feeling good sure is great, isn't it? We live for feeling good. We live in a cycle between good and bad. Feeling good, feeling bad. Between defeat, defeat, <laughs> defeat, and victory. And it's great. But sometimes it's not, especially negativity, the negative bits. If you find yourself stuck in them. Because as great and inevitable as that positivity is, you must deal with the negative bits. Which is unfortunate, because when you deal with the negative bits, you can't deal with them completely independently. We are social creatures, and without dragging somebody down somehow, at least for a moment, you can't escape your negativity. Because that's what you do when you go to your friends, when you go to a support group, when you upload a video about something sad, right? You burden people. Because what are you doing approaching somebody sad? Well, you're approaching them with a problem. You're asking them to solve it on your behalf, to do unpleasant work on your behalf for your gain entirely, or at least so you don't deter or hurt them, which is not the best incentive, and in the end, you're still a human being, so after they do all that, after they take that bad deal, you could stab them in the back, or you could leave. People only stand to lose when you're sad, and they know it, and you know it. And yet you still need them, at least for a moment, which is enough to drive them away. When I was younger, I spent months dragging people down with my sadness. Now, I only erupt maybe once per cycle. And even that, even that little hour is enough to break things. I wish I could handle all this independently, and I, I, I think most people do. If we could find happiness without burdening or emotionally raping, because that's really what it is, isn't it? Other people, I would. Most people would. And yet, when those bad feelings roll around, no matter how efficient your negativity handling department is, you still, if only for a moment, must stick your neck out to the world and say, I know this is a bad deal, I know this is bad, I know I could hurt you, I know you could hurt me, but please, I need your help. And 99% of people will walk by because that's dangerous, and fair enough, because you walked by 99% of people because that's dangerous, so shit. But maybe, maybe you just find one person and you pin them down and you get what you need from them and you leave. That's the most unfortunate. Because in that second, you ruined that person's day, their week, maybe even their month, perhaps their life. And you felt infinitely better immediately afterwards. So why did you need that at all? Knowing that one little thing stood between your great happiness, your great relief, and their great hurt the hurt you put on them. Why did you need that? Why couldn't you have handled it independently without burdening or hurting someone? Well, shoogly doogly, boys, I don't know. <laughs> this is why I don't make black pill content. I have no answers. This is what it is. We're social creatures. We need other people to help us through our negative bits. Suppressing that, or avoiding people, seeking isolation, you'll explode or you'll implode. There's no way around it. Even if you are very efficient and can take those negative bits, that sadness, and compress months of hurt into a moment, even five minutes of an explosion, you still need that little bit with somebody else, unfortunately. It's unfortunate you hurt 
and burden other people, either driving your friends away by asking them favors and owing them, or pinning other people down and forcing it on them. Not just because you do it, but because you must. And that sucks. That really sucks. No matter how efficient your positivity is, no matter how long your happiness lasts, no matter how efficient your negativity is, no matter how compressed you make it, you will still hurt someone else and disadvantage yourself eventually. It just sucks, boys. It sickly sucks. But that about rippity wraps this one up, boys. I hope you enjoyed watching because I really didn't enjoy making it. I dislike black pill content, at least when I have no answers or light at the end of the tunnel message to impart upon you. Now, the real reason I'm making this video is as a preface for the real video, which is in the description and is very embarrassing and pathetic and makes me very uncomfortable to listen to, listening to, and more uncomfortable uploading. So if you listen to it, read the description when you get there, I'll put some notesy wotesies in there, and this is why I don't make black pill content, or touch on it usually, but feel I need to sometimes because other people might be going through it, I guess. I don't know. I still dislike it. It makes me very uncomfortable and worried. Because fuck. <laughs> fuck, it is a bad, bad, bad deal. And people hate it. They say they hate overwhelming positivity, but they hate real negativity. Like if you enjoyed, because that helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't, because we do this shit sometimes, and comment your thoughts. I didn't ask questions before the outro, I really don't have any questions, boys. What do you think about negativity, I guess? Let me know down in the comments, I love hearing from you. But that about ripity wraps this one up, boys. Fuck, that's the beginning of the outro, not the end of the outro. But thanks again for watching, everybody, really. Really, 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 really. We have a lot of fun on this channel. So much fun, you could fill it with a value cup that you get for free by asking for water in a first world country with ice. That's how much fun we have on this channel. And I look forward to doing this with you guys again in the future.